Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Daily Discipline number 111. It's Rob. It is the fourth day of February. It is the morning after the Super Bowl, my 19th anniversary in the logistics business, and uh, feels like it's going to be a savage day today to me. Ugh, yeah. Mm. It's good stuff. Hey, you guys ready to get to work? I am. Let's start with what we're thankful for. we got to be thankful for Tom Brady and Bill Belichick, right? I mean, come on. You know, they win again tonight. Um, it's just amazing. It's amazing. There's no doubt about it. And if you watch the game, the game was uber boring. Uh, until the second half got a little lively. And you just kind of got the feeling that, um, once again, they were going to do it. And they did. And so, uh, just some stats for you to consider that uh, Tom Brady is now tied for the lead all time uh, with wins as a player with 237. He's tied with a kicker, Adam Vinatieri, who was instrumental in uh, the start of this whole thing. But, you know, kickers play a little bit differently than quarterbacks, so that's pretty impressive. Um, Tom Brady's now tied uh, with six for the most Super Bowl wins by a player. He's the only player to win six uh, with one team. His coach, Bill Belichick, is now tied for the most NFL championships with a couple guys by the name of George Hallis and Curly Lambeau. Guys, this is unprecedented. It really is. And uh, what else do I have in here? Yeah, talk about Tom Brady. 18 years as a starting quarterback. 18 years, right? So in that 18 years, half the time, so 500%, they end up in the Super Bowl. <laughs> like we talked about yesterday, a lot of guys will work their whole career and never get there. Half the time, he's in the game, and a third of the time, they win the championship. That is unreal. Um, to put that in perspective, if you're a baseball player and you're batting average, meaning that you get a hit, not win the championship, but get a hit one third of the time, that gets you into the Hall of Fame. Um, it's just special. It is just special. So all I can think about is that you know, it all starts with the dream. Bill Belichick grew up the son of a uh, football coach and decided this is what he wanted to do. Tom Brady committed, decided what he wanted to do. Then you have to have a plan. So you got the dream. Then you have a plan. You have to have a way to execute that. And again, that gets evolved over time. Uh, but there has to be a roadmap. Uh, the next is that there's a commitment, right? No limits. We've talked about this many, many times that we say, hey, that's what I want to do. And then we do a plan, but then we never fully commit to it because we're scared because of fear. Um, the I think the most important one is the belief. The belief that we can do whatever we set our mind to. There was nobody that was going to convince Tom Brady or Bill Belichick that they couldn't do it. And um, you see after the fact, or like if you watched afterwards, there was, they had the cameras on Brady as he was trying to leave the field. There must have been a couple hundred people and just, it was intense. And he wanted to get to his guys. And one of his guys that he wanted to get to was Julian Edelman. And you could just see the embrace, the emotion. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. And then, you know, when you have that unshakable belief you have your dream that there's no doubt where you're going. You've got a plan. You're committed to it. Um, you have that belief. Then after that, it's just achieving. It's just showing up and doing what you do. And uh, what an amazing example for all of us. Now, fortunately, all of us don't live our life in such a public way that people can see our ups and downs. But we all have them. And we are fortunate enough to live in a time where we got to see this live. We got to witness it. And it's not like it's over either. It's still going just like us. Our story is unwritten, right? It, there might be a draft of it out there, right? Uh, I've taken an uh, unbiased uh, view of mine, and I don't like the draft that I saw 111 days ago, so I'm changing it, right? I know that once I finalize my plan um, and, and go all in, it's over, right? No more struggle. No more struggling like I have struggled. But as Precious always tells me, um, we go through struggles uh, to prepare us for something else. And um, if you've suffered, then just keep going. There's good stuff on the other side. So it's my plan for today. I'm up early, going to get some stuff done. Um, 
work on my next championship. With that, we're done. Hands up, peace out. We are better together. Congratulations, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, and the New England Patriots. You guys are amazing. And to all of you, let's go get it today. Love you guys. I'll be back tomorrow. Talk to you then. Bye.